the Columbia Gorge Fiber Festival. And I'm so excited. Sunrise just occurred, although it's still a bit difficult to see it because it's very foggy. The sky is lit up. So I woke up at 6 and it was completely pitch dark outside. We just had our daylight savings time. And by the time I left the house at about 6.40, God had turned the light on, but using a dimmer switch. So there's this really beautiful haze going on. So today's class is with Sarah Anderson, and she's a very sweet lady. She's taught me a class before, and she's patient. When I took my first class from her, I was a very newbie at spinning. Uh, I had spun for about a week or two weeks at that point. And I think she'll have to be a bit patient with me today too, because I really enjoy spinning, but I don't get a ton of time for it. So I made sure to wake up with enough time this morning to make a Starbucks run. I don't do Starbucks as often as I used to just because it definitely adds up to, it can easily be more than $100 every month um, if you make a habit of going to Starbucks regularly. But I'm having one today because today is a very special day. Hello, I'd like a venti opera chai tea please with soy. Venti soy opera chai tea latte with up for you. Uh, that's it. Alright, it's gonna be 525, thank you. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice morning. Thank you. This is a day for me today and tomorrow and the next day. Today is Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. So today is spinning silk, which is really exciting. I've wanted to spin silk for a long time and I've watched other people on YouTube videos spinning silk and it just looks like a very organic process. I like how it comes out in hankies and how you can separate it to be basically a loop that goes around so you put up make a hole in the middle and then you pull it out so that it's just like a big circle that's connected because you pulled from the inside and made a hole from the inside and I think that some people break that circle and then spin it like a single ply and then some people keep it as a loop, and I don't know if they just spin it that way. I think they do. I don't know, but I'm probably going to find out today. So I'm, I'm just really excited. So I was saying that Sarah will probably have to be patient with me today, and that's because I have not invested a lot of time in, in my spinning practice as much as I would like to. So you see some experienced spinners who just produce like crazy. They just spin quickly and they create a ton of yarn quickly. And you can see them with the wool going through their hands and it's just amazingly fast. And I am not at that point yet and I don't know if it's because of the wheel that I have because it's not a typical wheel it's it does actually itself um, naturally spin slower because the bobbin is so huge and the whirl is so huge but I think that gives me more control because it since it naturally is going to spin slower then I have time to draft so I think it's a combination of my wheel being what it is and also that I'm still a slow drafter. It's yarn day. It's yarn day. Three days of yarn day. day. It's yarn day.
following the signs. There are signs about the place that say registration this way. So I'm heading towards the registration. Going to get my packet. My yarn packet. So I went to the wrong building. It's okay. I got here about 20 minutes early uh, before their opening time, which is 8 a.m. And it, so I got here at 7.40. So that I wouldn't be stressed and that I was, I'd be able to find the place in time. I want to be ideally like in line before 8 o'clock, just because I don't know how crazy it's going to be. I don't have my seatbelt on. Um, I don't know how crazy it's going to be uh, to, to get the packets. I don't know how long the line is going to be. And my, my class today starts at, um, at 8.30. So I want to have time to get my packet and find out the location of my class and then be able to bring my wheel to the class and my wheel is heavy because it is a grandona it is a big a big thing that's Portuguese on my way to location number two so hopefully this is the roundabout oh that's the roundabout a kind lady who found me wandering in the building that I went to um, directed me where to go so going to the roundabout and taking a different exit than I took. holder for my car. Uh, so there was actually a nice sign that said Columbia Gorge Festival that I completely missed on the way in. So um, as they say, my bad, and I'm in the right place now. Woohoo! On to get my package. official I have a name tag Columbia Gorge Fiber Festival a leader ringer and I have the packet inside the packet has a map and tickets to your classes I've got the golden ticket I have three golden tickets actually so it has just turned eight o'clock right now and there were many women who had the same plan as me that they were already actually I was one of the first three to um, be in line I was the second or the third person in line that I saw and then very quickly a line built up behind me so I probably got to the registration table at something like 750 so there were already many women in line before 8 o'clock so they are all of the same mindset as I am and there are still many more people coming in as you may be able to see so now I'm going to building three of the Columbia Gorge Community Center hospital, not hospital, um, uh, Columbia Gorge Community College, CGCC. And I know where building three is already because I passed that when I was busy being lost. So I know where I'm going now. That's the silver lining of getting lost. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Here we go. 
This is the building! So exciting! I'm gonna be spinning for many hours with a group of people who like to spin just like me. Although they're probably gonna be a lot better than me. But that is okay! I'm happy to be soon in the company of like-minded souls. I went to the registration um, building and I saw all these women who were walking in there and knowing that they're going to yarn classes, spinning classes, knitting classes, and I'm thinking, these are my people. These are yarn people. It's so nice to be surrounded by people who have the same hobby as you or the same passion or love that you do. So I finished my first half of today's class, so that was, um, it's 12 now, so it was from 8.30 to 12 so far, and it's been wonderful. I've learned a lot about silk, silk spinning, and putis, or punis, I think they're called punis. They're kind of, I think they're the silk equivalent to Rolex for wool, and so you make them on your uh, blending boards and then you roll them like a little cigar shape and then you spin from the ends. Uh, she, Sarah Anderson, showed us about um, spinning from the fold and, um, and how fast that is. And you, So you, with both spinning from the fold and with Spinning from punies, um, you can spin really quickly. And then I met this other lady who's the president of the Aurora um, Hand Spinners something Hand Spinners Group. But she told me that um, I would be better off. Because I kind of do a, I, I do an inchworm and it's kind of a, I'm going to call it a short backward draw. I don't know if that's a thing, but she looked at my yarn and suggested that I try a short forward draw. So I'm going to try that when I get back from lunch, which I'm going to now, and see if that helps the consistency of my yarn. So I'm so excited. These new tricks, tricks of the spinning trade. Oh, and I'll show you my pants. You can tell that I'm, <laughs> I've been spinning. But that is what it's all about. And at this place, this cafeteria where I'm going to eat, people will not look at me weird when they see that on my pants because this is a fiber festival after all. Okay, got my blackberry Italian soda going back into class. If only I could have this kind of class every day. That'd be an awesome school. Be yarn and spinning class every day. Then you get your bachelor's in spinning. Bachelor's in artistic spinning or dyeing, etc. So great looking around and people sitting around knitting on benches. It's so awesome. This, this, this is just classic spinning. Classic spinning. Classic spinning. Classic spinning. Classic
it is 4.31 in the afternoon and my class for the day is over and I'm going to the marketplace. I'm going to go window shop and try not to spend any money but it is a special day after all. Okay, you can hardly see me because it's a whopping 5.30 p.m. Okay. So I'm quite sorry that I didn't do any vlogging inside the marketplace, which was where they had all the vendors. Um, I didn't know what the rules were and I didn't want to take anybody off so let's just say that it was amazing and what was there were of course a ton of hand spun yarns all very creative um, a lot of hand dyed yarns and hand dyed uh, bats and there were beautiful spindles and the people who were manning the booths um, didn't want to be bored so of course they had either knitting with them or they had their spinning wheels with them and one lady had a pocket wheel which is really cute and small and I really like it and then another lady had something from Spain Spanish wheel something like that that can fold it into a little package and then you can take it on the plane with you or wherever. That was cute but not as cute as the pocket wheel. Oh, and then there were quite a few e-spinners but I'm not interested in an e-spinner because I like the authenticity of spinning using my feet.